Hello, in this video, I just want to answer a question that I was asked uh, by a friend. And the question was uh, about the causes of washboard roads. Now, to start with, I just want to show you what washboards look like. And this is what they look like. So, washboards road, washboard roads have roads uh, mostly in the um, rural areas or roads that are not tarred roads okay and what you'll find is that with overuse by vehicles they form like ridges like this one and so that gives you a bumpy ride now here's another example of a washboard road here's another example and yet another example. So mostly you'll find it in places where, look, they're more prominent here. In places where vehicles are moving. And let's see, there is one here. So you'll find quite a lot of them. So if my friend wanted to know the physics behind washboard road. And basically, there are a few things we need to be aware of. First off, um, what researchers have found, you can go on adventure.howstuffworks.com. But what scientists have found, what physicists have found, is that washboard roads are not necessarily caused by uh, the suspension of vehicles. Because what was believed to be the case was that as, as a car is going over a certain bump in the road, the suspension is compressed and upon being compressed, the, 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 the suspension then tries to bounce back and by trying to bounce back, it's pushing harder on the ground than uh, it would if there was no initial bump in the road so that makes the situation worse but then it was also discovered that even without a suspension you know, with just a piece of uh, board or any sort of artifact you could um, simulate the same washboard road effect and so it was then decided that perhaps it is something else rather than uh, the suspension of vehicles and also uh, the suspension of vehicles was affected by these roads. What we found was that actually the speed of the vehicle or the speed of the thing that's causing the washboard road was instrumental in the formation of these washboard roads. So below a certain speed, the washboard um, effect was not that prominent. And you can read all about it here. So the physics of washboard road formation. They, they um, decided that perhaps, um, in fact, they found that you'd have to drive at something like three miles per hour or 4.83 kilometers per hour to eliminate the problem altogether but that would be too slow for someone who is uh, driving. They also found that um, the causes of washboard roads formation were mainly in places that lack moisture, in places uh, where there was a lot of traffic, hard acceleration or braking, that would also eliminate, uh, that would um, accelerate washboarding and poor quality surface. Washboarding occurs most frequently if the surface quality of the road is poor, whether it's sand, gravel, or, or even pavement. And, and uh, finally, if you go to the last page, it will give you uh, some more links, how, how, how cattle sorting and penning works, how car suspension work, and all that. So basically, washboard roads are caused by a speeding vehicle. So 
the combination of speed and maybe suspension as well, if there is a suspension, will give energy to the sand particles which are going to move and pile up in a certain pattern. And that has been observed even uh, with snowmobiles. So that is um, my little contribution today on washboard roads. I will see you in the next video, but if you want to see more of my videos, please subscribe to this channel. And also you can go to my website, directorfuma.com, where you will find more of, uh, more of the videos.